Now, the biggest stories on the South Coast from the WBSM Newsroom. This is WBSM News. New Bedford and State Police are investigating the shooting death of a 16-year-old girl. Anali Farias died in the hospital Thursday, five days after she was shot in the back seat of a car around Bullard and North Front Streets. Authorities are calling the shooting a homicide. The remnants of Tropical Storm Nicole, which is now a tropical depression, being felt in Massachusetts today. Heavy downpours and gusty winds overspreading the area through the night into tomorrow morning. Over an inch of rainfall possible and wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour are likely. Forecasters warn scattered wind damage and power outages are also possible. A closer look at your forecast coming up. A man is being charged with operating under the influence on Cape Cod in a crash that sent a pregnant woman to the hospital. WCVB-TV reports the two-vehicle crash happened in Bourne around 1 p.m. Thursday on Shore Road. A 62-year-old man driving an SUV veered into oncoming traffic, striking a car. A baby in the second vehicle was also injured, but police say there were non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect's name was not released. Hospitals in Boston are struggling to care for hundreds of pediatric patients in overcrowded ICUs. It's due to what's described as an unprecedented surge in cases of RSV, a serious respiratory virus. Doctors say most cases are treated at urgent care clinics or emergency rooms and patients recover at home. However, severe cases can cause pneumonia requiring hospitalization. And a court in Scotland has ruled that a man named Arthur Knight is really a Rhode Islander who faked his own death. Authorities say he is actually Nicholas Oliverdian, also known as Nicholas Rossi, who fled to escape sexual assault and other charges in the United States. He was arrested in Scotland last year after being hospitalized with COVID symptoms. The next step is the extradition process to bring him back to the States. In sports, the Celtics are hosting the Denver Nuggets tonight, and they play at Detroit tomorrow. The Bruins are back at it tomorrow in Buffalo, fresh off yesterday's win. Now, a closer look at your forecast with ABC6. Look for clouds to thicken up this afternoon with rain developing around 5 p.m. May make for a tricky late commute, too, with some poor drainage flooding. Your high today near 70. Overnight tonight, rain locally heavy at times. Chance of thunderstorms and increasing winds. Your low will be near 65. Saturday will start with leftover showers as well as some gusty winds. We will clear, winds will relax, and it will still be warm with a high of 72. From the ABC6 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Kelly Bates on New Bedford's News Talk Station. 1420 WBSM. A high wind advisory in effect from 10 tonight through tomorrow morning. I'm Phil Devitt for WBSM News. Stay up to date with New Bedford's news talk station, 1420 WBSM, and get breaking news alerts and podcasts with the WBSM app.